The TPC at South Wind is a massive draw to the area. People from all over the country are coming to our tournament, but so are the more than half dozen city owned public golf courses. They are magnets for golf lovers as well. In the past four years, Memphis has pumped close to $20 million into golf course renovations. Griffin Bay Marais has details on the latest makeover. When you think of public golf courses here in Memphis, the first one that comes to mind for a lot of people might be Galloway, or some people might say Pine Hill, or even Fox Meadows. But now, with the new facelift here at the Autobahn, it's going to be one of the best of the best. Memphis Parks not only have among the best public golf courses in the state of Tennessee, but I would argue among the best in the region. And that is thanks to the third reopening of a city golf course in the last four years. Since 2000, golf has been a priority for the city. Parks and Recreation Director Nick Walker says today's courses are unrecognizable compared to 20 years ago. Ask anyone, uh, several of whom are here today, who played Memphis golf courses in the late 90s and early 2000s about what courses looked and played like then as opposed to what they do today, and they will tell you that the difference is night and day. It is remarkable. Before 2020, the last course to get an upgrade was Galloway back in 2000. Walker says for years, everyone just wanted to play there, but now that's gonna change. Uh, a renovated and reimagined Overton with significant upgrades to the clubhouse, a new clubhouse and refreshed Pine Hill golf course with a driving range, the, the city's second, new greens, new cart paths and irrigation at Fox Meadows, new cart paths at Galloway, and this beautiful golf course, uh, which you can see the new driving range behind us, that driving range is part of the newly revamped Lynx at Autobahn. The course was originally opened in 1941, and this is its first major upgrade, a $9 million project spearheaded by lead architect Bill Bergen, who's designed courses like Richland Country Club in Nashville and Santa Rosa Golf Club in Florida. Uh, there were uh, a few meetings that uh, caused us to reinvent the golf course a little bit, but in the end, I think it was all for the best, and I think it really produced a fantastic course. Bergen calls it a great driving golf course with native grass and only 21 bunkers. Perfect, Bergen says, for both beginners and experienced golfers alike. Some great fun areas around the greens because we believe that people play less than perfect golf. And this golf course is great for playing less than perfect golf. But we could have the University of Memphis golf teams out here and it would give them all the challenge they want. So whether you're a kid trying to learn the game or someone looking to improve their skill, Memphis courses have something for everyone. At the golf course, Griffin Demeray, Action News 5. It is terrific. Players start taking dead aim at the pins on Thursday for the first day of the official FedEx St. Jude Championship. For ticket information, look for this story online at actionnews5.com.